Um, so, I mean, I think, I think we all know this, right? As part of any transformation process, we need to have a serious um, review of what are HR roles in the process. Um, having gone through a couple, one of my biggest challenges is the HR people. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> they're the people who don't want to change. The business is, is loving change, desiring change, and we're the ones who do it. I remember one of the two trans, I mean, uh, two transformations ago, so you know, one that I worked on previously. Um, one of the major outcomes from the transformation is we finally got a job description for a business partner. partner. <laughs> okay, it's, it took, and, and I inherited it, but apparently they'd been trying to work on it for 18 months, but we finally got that. Um, because it goes to the heart of what does HR do. And one of the things that I wanna share as a little bit of a, uh, at least a personal insight, and I think it's great news for the HR community is that HR processes have ma rapidly matured and the technology nowadays embeds that knowledge and understanding into it, right? And I think that as the HR community, sometimes we get very caught up into, we need to do it this way in Malaysia and we need to do it this way in Japan and we need to do it this way in China or this way in you know, Spain and that sort of thing. And yes, there are uniquenesses the great thing and the reason that I am a fan of the cloud is that because the cloud goes into those countries already, I basically steal other people's learning. Because I basically take, it's different from a product pack where you do it as a customization. But what I know, for example, is that if you can run these processes in Spain, right, out of success factors or employee central and that sort of thing, if these are the data fields, if this is the way the process can work, and I can't understand that, that's my fault, not the product's fault. Because other customers are using it that way in Spain, i.e. they've sorted it out, they've worked it through. So one of the things for me is that I focus my team and my function and my department not about figuring out all the process, but saying how do we take what is there and how do we make it best work for us? Because that saves me time rather than remapping everything and it focuses my team on outcomes, not the process. Because what you want them to be doing is spending time focus on what is being delivered. So having mature technology, now that wasn't always true, right? And, and the product sets we had to deal with, if you go back five, 10 years, weren't always there. But I think what I see now is the products are beginning to mature to that level where you can say, let me see to be able to take as much from the product as I can and make it work for me rather than re-engineering the product. Because at the end of the day, the business just is interested in the outcome. They just want to get to outcome. They, they're not worried so much about how your process and your technology does it, right? So I think if you are looking at the product set, if you're looking at the cloud, that's one of the things to bear in mind. And like I said at the, be at the beginning of the comment, was usually the people I have to fight the most with to get this done is the HR team. <laughs> because we always do it this way. I say, no, hang on a minute, let's rethink that. Let's go for simplicity, let's go for ease of use. The business is just focused on the outcome, not the process.